Well, I'm going to do a computer experiment today. Now, let me see what my graphic card settings are. Okay, so we have anastropic filtering, application controlled, anti-aliasing, application controlled, gamma correction on, anti-aliasing transparency off, conformant texture clad, whatever the hell that means, use hardware, extension limit off, force mitmaps none, multi-GPU blah blah blah, single performance, decelerable. I've got another cold today so my mind isn't working properly. Texture filtering, blah 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 is off, and I oh, just... <sighs> well, so you can see how that is. Oh. My camera battery is running out already, and I didn't just charge that yesterday. I don't use it that much. Have I got any dynamic overclocking on? Yes, I have. Right, right there. <sighs> on command! Now, let's run a game and see how well it performs. Gonna do Trackmania Nations, because there's a benchmark mark. Now I'm going to do a benchmark and see how many frames per second I get. Running this at full 1080. I haven't got this connected to the internet so it's not going to be able to do that. So track menu nations at full 1080 HD. Let's see what frame rate we get in the benchmark. Okay, here come the results. 29.6 frames per second, not bad. But I think it could be better. Now, here's what I'm going to do. This is inside the computer that we just played that game on. And you can see the graphic card it has. This is inside my other computer. And I'm filming the graphic card. I'm going to take that graphic card out and put it in the other computer and see if we get any better performance. Here we have the two graphic cards side by side. This one is the one I took out of the computer that I played Trackmania Nations on, and this one is the one out of the other computer. As you can see by the size comparison, it looks like this one is going to be better. They're both NVIDIA cards. This one is a 8400GS, and this one is a 7300GT. And there it is. I'm a little concerned because I accidentally touched the edge connector when it was on the um, piece of wood, but I'm going to turn the computer on now and let's see what we get. Because as you may or may not know, computer parts can be very easily damaged by static discharge that you don't, wouldn't even know is there. Just turning on my big TV. Right, now I'm turning on the thing. Well, it's switched to HDMI, so that's a good sign. Ah, oh, yes, we're getting something. Ubuntu, that's going because that absolutely sucks, but boot up Microsoft Windows now. For those of you who don't know what Ubuntu is, it's Linux and it sucks. I just use that for internet. Windows is booting up now. Okay, the drivers are installed and I've got all the settings the way they were with the other card. I've used the same disk, or really the same disk image, to install the drivers. Which is this right here. Now, let's run Trackmania Nations and do a benchmark test and see if it works any better. Let's make sure it's on 
1080 um 1920 by 1080 now let's go to the benchmark and see if it performs any better remember I'm using exactly the same settings so nothing's been changed apart from the graphic card so let's see what the results are. Well, I can tell right now that that looks a lot... The frame rate on that looks a lot higher than it was with the other graphic card. right up there with PS3 and Xbox 360 quality. Well, almost. Ah, look at that! Remember what the old one was? 29.3, I think it was. Well, look at this with the other graphic card. 55 frames per... Well, almost 56 frames per second. So... That shows a different graphic card really does increase the performance of your games. I'm surprised at how well that worked, actually. Get almost twice the frame rate we got from this thing. But anyway, cool dude Clem out, so until next time, goodbye.